Dear Mr. President, dear Prime Minister, distinguished panelists, ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to address this important forum hosted by the President. I'm heartened by your commitment towards enhancing green financing in support of achieving the Sustainable Development Goals. As humankind, we're facing unprecedented global challenges from the COVID-19 pandemic, climate change, biodiversity loss, and active conflicts at an all-time high. These complex interconnected issues are exacerbating existing inequalities and setting back progress on the SDGs. In these turbulent times, there's a pressing need for global solidarity to shape a more sustainable future where people and planet live in balance. To get there, we must come together to drive a green recovery from COVID-19. Now's the time to act and embrace solutions like green financing if we are to realize a net zero future. Between 3.3 and $4.5 trillion per year needs to be mobilized if we hope to achieve the 2030 agenda. Though we are seeing increased commitment towards green financing globally, we're far short of that goal with an average annual funding gap of $2.5 trillion. Furthermore, the COVID-19 pandemic has placed severe constraints on countries' fiscal space, while there's increasing pressure from humanitarian crises, including now in Ukraine. How can we then maximize and optimize financing for the SDGs? As public resources alone are not enough, we have to find effective, sustainable, mutually beneficial ways to channel private financial assets towards investments for sustainable and green development. This is a key priority globally, regionally, and locally, which is why the commitments that I hope will emerge from today's event are of the utmost importance. With global average temperatures rising, Mongolia is one of the many countries that is experiencing significant climate change impacts. As Mongolia seeks to build a strong, diversified, green, and prosperous economy in the next 30 years, in line with your Vision 2050, a multi-pillar, inclusive, sustainable, and green financial ecosystem must be developed. That can be advanced by creating an enabling environment for investment and promoting public-private partnerships to mobilize the additional resources needed to bridge the financing gap for the SDGs. I'm pleased to note the progress that Mongolia is making in this direction. For example, look to the Billion Tree Initiative announced by the president at COP26 in Glasgow. It aims to plant one billion trees to combat desertification. Today's forum also highlights Mongolia's other efforts towards achieving the SDGs. Consider the Green Billion Fund, an ambitious initiative for reforestation and the restoration of ecosystems. Or look to the new National Sustainable Finance Roadmap. Such initiatives are strategically aligned with UNDP's goals to support the country's inclusive, resilient, and sustainable development. One of our flagship initiatives with the government is the Biodiversity Finance Initiative, Biofin, which helps bridge the financing gap for biodiversity conservation in Mongolia. The three financing solutions that will be tested and scaled up in the coming years include, first, the establishment of a National Conservation Trust Fund, Second, improving the mechanism and guidelines for implementing natural resource use fees. And third, repurposing harmful biodiversity subsidies. We're also assisting Mongolia to explore new ways of sustainable green financing through debt instruments such as SDG bonds, finances that can be channeled toward vital services like healthcare, education, or nature. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Time is running out for us to achieve the SDGs by 2030. The next few years will be crucial for us to make substantial progress. Recovery from the COVID-19 can be a stepping stone rather than a setback for green financing. This starts with each country at the central level, and we're already supporting the efforts of several countries in the region in this key area. However, it's also important to ensure local governments are involved, as well as local chambers of commerce and other actors in the financing ecosystem, which is why I would like to invite private sector leaders and investors here today to consider how aligning your business and strategy with the SDGs could be a win-win for everybody. 
I would also like to encourage decision makers and leaders gathered here today to discuss how you can incentivize green financing and SDG aligned financing in your partnerships with the private sector and investors. As ever, UNDP stands ready to advocate for and facilitate global and regional cooperation around the green transition and green financing. It's only when we come together that we can achieve the scale and ambition required to protect and restore our natural world we all depend on and realize the promises of the 2030 Agenda. I thank you.